The ridiculous labels Toyota puts on the Tacoma. There's tons of them. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, there are a ridiculous number of labels that Toyota puts on the Tacoma. Let's take a walk around and have a look. We're gonna start at the very front. Uh, I noticed this really just the other day. I don't pay much attention, but I saw it and I thought, are you kidding me? There's a notice right here. It says, no step, even in different languages, on the license plate holder. I mean, who's gonna step on that? Look at that, you probably ripped this whole fascia off of here. Who's gonna do that? Now, we move up to the hood area, right? Let's take a look, because you know, we've got to have some labels under here, and not all of them are bad. I mean, over here we do have some uh, pertinent information, I guess. Over here, we have an air conditioning warning type label that you should only have your air conditioning serviced uh, by professionals. Gotta have that under the hood, just in case you decide to tear in to your air conditioning. Now, Let's move around to the back. You know, before I had had a label right over there where my little jack extension is, there was a label there telling me what I could and couldn't do in the back of the bed, you know, warning me about stuff. And then down there, we have another warning label, a label that says caution, attention, telling me about a plug. Crazy, why do we need that? I actually, as you can see, took that one off. I thought it was ridiculous. It is gone. But those aren't the worst labels. Let's take a look over here, entering the, uh, the truck itself. When you open the door, of course you have labels in the sill here, and these are pertinent labels. I mean, they have information about the truck and whatever. But down here, I have this stupid caution, load carrying capacity reduced that my truck originally had been modified and the original load carrying capacity was reduced by two pounds. Two pounds? You know what? I had started to pull this off. I don't know why I stopped, but it needs to go. Let's get rid of that. Plus, it's not valid on my truck anymore anyway. I mean, I've added all kinds of other things. I did a video recently about the payload capacity and what it means to my truck. So that's now gone. Doesn't need to be there, ridiculous. Now, let's step inside because these are not only annoying, but just ridiculous overall. If you look up here, of course, on the visor and everybody hates these, right? I mean, they're an eyesore, look at these things. You jump in this nice looking truck and you get to look at this junk. Now here, this one actually pulls out, I believe. Let's see, it's been a while. I think it comes out, probably so you can read each side. Of course, after a while, it kind of gets stuck in there. So it kind of defeats the purpose. I don't know if I've ever taken it out. Did you even know this thing would come out? Let's see what's on the other side. Um, so you could remove that actually, and I may, uh, and store stuff in there that's relevant, like maybe your license and registration, I don't know. But what is this? This is the transfer gear shifting instructions. So it could be useful. Oh, and there is stuff on the other side as well, but it is in a different language. Of course, over here, we have the warnings about, oh, I don't know, airbags and all kinds of junk. And then it tells us to flip the visor over because wait, there's more. So if we do that, we get two more of these stupid warning things talking more about airbags and their potential life-threatening situations. And then over here, I have a tag that I can't even read because it looks to me to be in French, I think. I can't even read this. Why do I have something in my truck that's in a language I can't even read? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's look at the other side. Oh, we have more. Uh, airbag warning information. Matter of fact, it looks to be the exact same as what we have over here. So we have to duplicate it so that the passenger can read this too. You ever read any of this stuff as a passenger in somebody's vehicle? I'd be surprised. 
Here we go on the other side. And again, we have the same information, I believe. Yeah, it's the same exact information. Again, with a language I don't speak, so I don't even know what that says. And then we have this one here on the, uh, the mirror itself, the mirror cover. I don't know. I don't know why we have to have that there, but we do. And the unfortunate part is there's no good way to get these things off. You try to take these off, you're going to have adhesive left on your cloth. It's going to look worse than it looks just the way that it is right now. Seven labels inside the truck on the visors. Why? It's absurd. Like I showed you, most of it is repetitive anyway. It's already there. I don't know. Of course, the reason that we have all of these lovely little placards or labels inside and all around the truck, even under the hood, is because of you and me. That's right. It's your fault. It's my fault. On a broader notion, it's society's fault. The reason Toyota has to put all this junk in the truck is because people are lawsuit happy. You remember a while back when somebody went to McDonald's, purchased a cup of coffee, spilled it on themselves, and then sued McDonald's because it was too hot. It was too hot. I mean, imagine buying a cup of coffee and it's hot. Who would have ever thought? And the bad part about it is, I believe they won. How absurd is that? So of course, that sends manufacturers scrambling, right? You've got to put all these labels around, so maybe you stand half a chance in court if there's some kind of stupid lawsuit brought up because you were too ignorant to know how your vehicle works. I don't know, but it's our fault. It's because society is crazy so happy, and that's why we have all this stuff. So the people that complain about it, you really shouldn't look to Toyota. It's not their fault. They're doing what they have to do. They have to put these ridiculous labels all over the place to protect themselves from us, from you and me. That's why they do it. The only thing I wish is that they made them easier to remove. I think once they put them on, the trucks go out. It's not their responsibility if we decide to take them off. For instance, these visor labels. It'd be really nice if you could pull those off, not have to worry about them anymore. It'd be even better if maybe they were just simply Velcroed on there some way. I'd prefer that. That way I could just rip them off, throw them in the glove box, the trash can, whatever, and not have to worry about it anymore. Anyway, just crazy. These are the ridiculous labels that Toyota has to put all over the Tacoma crazy. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Does stuff like that drive you nuts? I know there's a lot of you out there who can't stand those visor labels. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my label-ridden 2021 Toyota Tundra. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.